Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Spot Badminton. My name is Derek, and today I'm gonna to teach you how I teach the forehand panhandle grip. Before I teach the forehand panhandle grip, I need to make sure that my students already know the forehand grip. If you don't know how to teach the forehand grip, click the link in the description below. To get your students to learn how to hold the panhandle grip, you need to get them to hold the correct forehand grip. Once they have the correct forehand grip, you're gonna to want to get them to turn the racket to the left until the racket is flat and it looks like they are holding a frying pan, hence the panhandle grip. It's really important that when they are doing this grip change, they are turning the racket to the left and not turning it to the right. The reason why is that when we are turning the grip to the left or the racket to the left, that is how we normally change to our panhandle grip. We wanna make sure that they always keep the forehand side of the racket on the same side when changing grips to the panhandle grip. Once you get them with the panhandle grip, you wanna make sure that, again, they are relaxed but not sloppy on the grip. They should be able to move the racket with their fingers and squeezing the grip like this. Right after I teach this grip, I get them to learn how to go from forehand to panhandle grip right away. So what I do is get them all to hold the forehand grip and then come right up to the net. When they're at the net holding the correct forehand grip, they can be able to tap the top of the net with the frame only. Once they are used to this movement, then I'm gonna get them to change to their panhandle grip. Again, making sure that they are changing to the panhandle grip the correct way, and that's by turning the grip or the racket to the left and not to the right. So changing to the left, and then now when they're doing the same motion and tapping the net, now they're hitting with two points of contact. So from changing from the forehand grip with one point of contact with the frame and changing to the panhandle grip, now hitting the top of the net with two points of contact, I'm gonna get them to change and tap the net and get used to changing their grip back and forth. Lastly, it's really important to teach your students so they understand when to use the forehand panhandle grip. The most important prompt is to make sure that we're using this grip when we're able to hit with the shuttle in front. So if it's too close and around them, this is not ideal because I'd rather have my students use the forehand and to pronate when it's close to them or even better, the backhand grip. So when we're able to use the forehand panhandle grip, that is when we are able to hit drives or pushes when we are reaching out in front with the racket. If your students are taller than the net, I let them know not to hit with the panhandle grip above their head. Sometimes it is okay if you can reach out in front here, but the reason why is if they are just learning how to play badminton, if they start using the panhandle grip above their head, they're gonna start using it for their overhead stroke. If they are shorter than the net, like little children, then I would say it's okay because they need to use the panhandle grip to reach over the net anyways. And that's how simple it is to teach the forehand panhandle grip. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. See you next time.